How's it going everyone? This is Dave from wetflyswing.com. Today I'm going to show you how to tie on a stinger hook um, on any fly that, you know, like an intruder style or anything where you want to get an, a stinger. This is a pretty typical way to do it. We're just starting out with a 45 millimeter uh, Wyington shank. And as you can see getting started here, um, it's got this little little piece here that's detached and this is for some types of uh, fishing especially like Atlantic salmon you can actually slip a hook and attach it directly to um, the uh, the shank but for this we're just going to kind of fill up clear up this um, this hole here and kind of sink it up all together so I'm just going to kind of wrap back behind it this is that kind of your first start you can go very um, super heavy on this and just wrap it so it's all black use thicker thread tons of glue and I'm just going to show you quickly how to do this um, so we're just going to do that and once you feel good about this you can actually grab your wire and you can use wire there's all sorts of things you can use for this I'm using some some Asenio's um, standard intruder wire uh, when you cut this this is wire so you'll want to make sure to um, make sure to not use your good scissors I'm just going to measure off a piece here and cut it off and once you get that with your crappy scissors you basically just fold this over in half like so you got two pieces then you measure out the back length to see it depends on how big your fly is going to be um, on the regal sometimes you could use that as a gauge I like to just put it right there but however you do it you put that loop and then you pinch then you're just making a couple of loops to get this started you can see I'm gonna have it on either side this is not super critical and depending on the shank you use there'll be different ways to do it but this one you can, as you can see um, as I spin it here's the up eye and I've just got it on either side of this so you can see either side basically the top and bottom so I'm just kind of slowly going building this up and and the key here is really to, to make sure it sticks really well. Is as you go up, you can, I'll show you in a sec here once I get enough wraps. So I'm just wrapping this thing forward and coating it up, putting it pretty tight. Um, and then we'll also add some glue afterwards, but you can see just kind of covering things. And then when you get up to this point, you feel pretty good about it. You can stick this back through the actual hook eye. And pull it back through you see that so that kind of double kind of doubly secures it we'll stick this one through this way pull it back so now you're wrapping back over it I'll just tie it up right to there we're really getting this thing locked down now so basically so you can see I'm doing a bunch of wraps and like I said you can do a ton of wraps as many as you want to do here I'm just going to kind of stop right there for now make sure we're good back here spinning around yep it's pretty even just looking at the fly fairly even you can spin around and then once you get here you're feeling good about it you can kind of whip cut your line off well you don't even have to cut your line off but we'll do that in this situation and then you want to grab uh, I know a lot of guys don't use any glue, um, but this little Zappa gap is pretty easy to do, dries pretty quick. I'm just gonna put some on the some on the hook here just to secure it up. Then you can let that dry. A lot of times I'll just throw the thread back on right into the glue. cut that off there so we're just kind of wrapping so I'm gonna let that secure here take a little break come back in come back in and finish up showing you how to do the the other part here so we'll catch you in a bit we're back and we got this is all dry that was only about I don't know 10 minutes I was gone so what I'm gonna do here is cut this off real quick to show you you can throw on um, bead eyes, um, dumbo eyes, whatever you want to put on, something like that. And you can add that on for weight. Um, typically it's put on 
the bottom. But uh, I'm just going to show you how to do the stinger. Throw this on really quick. And what we're going to use here is a little, basically, a, this is a Tiempco, I believe, little bait hook. I think this is a size 4. So this isn't, um, it's kind of small, the hook, the hook eye. But what we're going to do is essentially attach this into that point. Um, but we want this to ride this way up um, because that makes more sense um, as far as hook sets and things like that. So, but here's the key, especially with this wire and the small hook. I got to get this through this little hole. So what I'm gonna do is pinch. Let's see if I can get this. Do my best to pinch. If I can get it in here. The easier way to do this would be to use a. Um, a hook with the bigger eye so there you go I got it but you can do it on these smaller ones so you can see as it goes through there now I'm gonna pull this off and just put this up just like you would any loop connection and I'm gonna pull that through just like that put that back on there spin around spin around like this just to show you Clip that on there. Just kind of go that there and then pull it tight. You can see now we got this thing on here tight. And now, like I said, the thing's going to ride just like that. And you can see how stiff that how stiff that wire is to keep it up. So basically, you're looking at something like that. Um, as you can see, the hook's back here. So if you were to, going to tie a much um, shorter um, fly as far as materials, you might stop the loop back here so your hook's here. This one, you're going to have your materials kind of all the way back into this range, kind of almost covering up the hook. So that's basically it. That's how you tie a stinger hook on, getting ready to tie your intruder fly or whatever you want to go for. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one, um, but I'll figure something out, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, Dave from wetflyswing.com. Check out some of the other stuff we have going um, or grab the fly tying tips PDF guide. Thanks. Man.